Yeah, welcome to my first tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this Pokeball and how you can create this environment. Let's jump right in. First of all, we don't need here this rectangle, so let's delete this and I want to change now in the perspective mode. And what we need now is a sphere. So let's bring this one here in, right into the center. And we have to change the position all the way to zero by zero by zero. And to make this ball non-destructive, so we can every time change some stuff here, I want to do this with the Boolean. So, so what we need now is a cylinder. Let's bring this here in the center to zero by zero by zero again. Let's change here the sphere of one thing which we want to change is here the Y to nine. And then we want to go to the hollow and change this one to 0.95. And the corner should be zero. Now let's bring back here our sphere and we want to pull out now the stuff out of the sphere. So let's select both with shift and then we want to go here to the Boolean modifier operation to the first button. Now we can see that the cylinder pulls the stuff out of the sphere. And now we have to go ahead. We need another cylinder here now. So let's put this here in front and this one goes here now in the position to zero by minus two by 90. And we want to change here the size to 40 by 100 by 40. And we want to go here to the corner again and change this to zero. And now we want to pull out the, this cylinder from our first boolean. So let's select this one again. And let's go into the right side to the operation here and pull out this one. Now we need three other cylinders. So let's put here another one. And this one is now to zero again, minus two by 38. The size is 40 by 12 by 40. And let's change the corner here right now to 0.1. So we're having here a little bit of a tiny edge. And this one goes later black and we need two other cylinders. So let's select this one, control and D. And this cylinder goes now to 41 in the Z. And I want to change the size to 30 in the X and in the Z. And now we can duplicate this one again. Control D, change this one now, 43 in the Z. And in the size to 20 by 20 in the X and the Z. So now we are having here our Pokeball. Let's go ahead here with some material. Yeah, one thing is uh, that we only have the option to add the materials here on the first Boolean or on the parent. The other stuff here or the other children, um, when you change here some material or some stuff, this will not affect. So uh, we have to select this one. And the first thing which we need is a depth. So let's press on the plus. I want to select here now depth. Yeah, and this one, let's go here into the depth. We want to have the mode here on color. That's okay. We want to use vector and linear. That's okay as well. But now we want to change here in the type, the radial to linear. And we have to change this here right into the uh, highest minus value. Let's go with minus 300. That's okay. And now we have to bring in here the colors. Let's select here this white and we want to go here with an orange. So let's bring in this value. And now let's bring the black slider here right in the center. And when we are bringing up here the orange, we can see that we are getting here close to the edge. Maybe something a little bit down to this here. The orange a little bit down. Something like this. Now we want to leave the center black, but the other thing should be something like white. So let's press here on the plus and we want to bring this here up to something grayish and bring this all the way up to the black. But we can see that we're having kind of a gradient and that's not what we want. So we have to put here a black in between. So let's bring another thing in. Now let's put this all the way up. We have to go a little bit and try this. Not easy, but you can do this. 
So I'm bring this up to this edge here. Okay, now we are having here the colors for our Pokeball. What we need else is a matcap. So let's go ahead and press on the plus again. All the way down, matcap. And let's press on this one. And we want to scroll down here and select uh, the matcap reflection 5. And we want to screen this here in this menu to this one. Now we're having cool reflections here on this. We don't need here the color but we want to use the lightning. So let's put this one here a little bit up. We want to turn down here the shininess and we want to use here the bump map. And to do this, let's go on the plus again and select here now image. I want to upload here an image from my computer. I want to use here the metal 222 roughness. I will put a link into the description for this one. So let's select this. And I want to change uh, this now from UV to spherical. And now we can hide this one and put this image here right down, right to the bottom. And let's go back into the lightning. I want to select now the material here and put the intensity to minus 0.05. So we're having a little bit of scratchiness, so it's not so clean when you uh, zooming in. Okay, we want to put this now here on uh, the first cylinder here on this one. And to do this, we have to select here the Boolean and create a new material of this. So let's press on the plus. We name this the ball. And let's go back here to the cylinder and select here now the ball. We want to unchain this because we don't need all the colors. So let's go into the depth and get rid of all the colors uh, except the black ones. So you have to drag and drop them uh, down. So press down the mouse button and go up or down. Then we are having here now these uh, black ones. And now we have to do the same thing for the white here in the front. So let's select this one ball again, unchain and go into the depth. And we just want to have these grayish colors. So let's get rid of all the other stuff. We have to use two colors every time. So let's bring this here to the same color. And now we can see that we're having this. And we can go ahead and save this here as a material. So let's make a plus and rename this here to maybe white. And let's select the last one, the cylinder three, and go here with the white as well. Okay, that's our Pokeball. What we need else is a plane. So let's put this here right in the center. Let's go here with one by minus 50 by one. And I want to scale this up here to 1000 by 1000. And sides are one by one because we don't want to subdivide this or make stuff like that so it's a little bit better to handle okay i want to change now the color here uh, to an rgb color uh, 101 by 71 by 255 that's uh, this color and i want to change here in the lightning um, the shininess down to zero and we have here this cool directional light as we can see i want to put this a little bit uh, onto another position so let's select this one now and I want to go to minus 1000 to 700 by minus 385. So we're having here this cool shadow and let's bring in a new camera um, for the autographic view. Let's select this one and we want to change now the viewport to our camera. Let's put this one to 33 six by 238 by 350 i want to rotate this to minus 34 by 38 by 23 and let's go here with an autographic view and the zoom is one so let's change now the background we want to press here on the sidebar and let's go here to the bg color and use here this eyedropper and select here the plane. That's cool here now. And when we are going into play mode, 
everything is cool. You can uh, go to export. You can go to the play settings and limit here uh, the orbit. I like to go here with 20 by 20 by 20 by 20. And now when we are testing this, um, you're not able uh, to pan all the way down here. So you're uh, more limited here in <laughs> in this space. So I think that's better. Let's press here on the sidebar again. And I want to enable here the ambient shadows. So that's a little bit better here right now here in, in the down, down part. And the last thing is we're going here to the effects and enable the hue. We can easily change here the color in which we like. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching and bye.